Hi everyone, it's me, Hopefully Skinny, back for my week nine update. I know it is a few days early, um, but I will be busy this weekend, so I wanted to get this recorded and posted. Um, so let's start off with my numbers. Uh, my highest recorded weight was 257 pounds. On the day of my surgery, July 24th, I was 366. And last week, uh, September 26th, I was 327. And this week, October 2nd, I am 322, 322 <laughs> with a five pound loss. Um, my total weight loss is 234 pounds. My weight loss since surgery is 44 pounds. My numbers are looking really good. And of course, I'm ecstatic with a 44 pound weight loss since um, surgery. Um, my three month post-op appointment is coming up here in like the next uh, four weeks, three to four weeks. And um, I, of course, really would like to hit that 60 pound weight loss goal mark. And I'm, I'm really not that far off. I'm six, uh, I believe I'm 26 pounds away, uh, no, 16 pounds away, sorry. Um, yeah, so um, hopefully I'll be able to reach that in the next few um, weeks. I would really like to be able to walk in there and be like, yeah, 60 pounds lost in, in three months. Um, what else? Uh, this past week has been pretty good. Um, I did have some issues. Um, I got, my stomach really bothered me yesterday and I took the day off from work just because I couldn't concentrate and I needed to lay down and, and it could have been left over from um, the five days prior where I was constipated and I had a really bad back because of it. and. Um, I'm finding that constipation is something that happens a little bit more regularly than I thought it would. Um, but once I was able to have a, a, a bowel movement, my back was hurting and you know, I started feeling better. And so uh, constipation is something that you really have to think about. Like before surgery, I would be like a little constipated where I'd feel like slightly uncomfortable. But I was never more, I was never constipated for more than a day at the at the most and that was very very randomly and um now it's like it's something that i have to deal with almost every week and it can be very painful and uncomfortable um but for me um seeing my numbers go down and getting healthier and more active and it's definitely worth dealing with that um you just have to drink your milk or magnesia drink lots of water try to get fiber in your diet because it's really hard not to get the fiber in your diet uh, because you're eating so much protein, but um, take some type of fiber um, supplement or try to make sure you put fiber into your diet. So that's my suggestion, and it seems to help when I have those issues. Um, this past week, um, as far as eating, was much better than last week because, of course, I um, have been more conscious of the fact that I'm going through something very stressful with my mom being ill having to tell family members and friends what's going on and um, so it has made me really conscious of when I walk into the kitchen am I hungry is it time to eat you know one am I hungry two and three um, is this food because I want to feel better or take my mind off of something that is bothering me um, so obviously my eating is is a lot better um, this weekend, I am going to the Sacramento Haunting Tour. I was with my best friend, but her boyfriend wanted to take her to Monterey. And I mean, come on, you know, I can't necessarily tell her, no, you made a commitment to me. <laughs> I mean, it's Monterey. So um, I hope she has fun. And to make up for um, changing plans on me, she got me tickets to a haunted house for later in the month. I'm really excited about that. So. I am taking my friend Allie with me this weekend, and um, like I said in previous videos, I'm not exactly sure what this haunting tour is going to consist of, but it sounds like it's going to be a blast. Um, and then, of course, I have the Comic Con on the 8th, well, not the Comic Con, SATCOM, which is like their version of the Comic Con, I guess, is on the 18th, and I'm going with um, a newer friend, Nick, and we're going to have a fabulous time. I'm trying to get him to watch Attack on Titan before um, he goes. So hopefully he's watched it. Um, so that's about it. Um, oh yeah, uh, work has been extremely supportive. 
uh, with what's going on. Uh, my mom also works for the same company and we've had no like stress with work. It's always been, if you need time off, take time off. Don't worry about it. Take as much as you need, you know, and I just, I could not have dealt with some of the things that was going on if I didn't have such a supportive work. Um, so I really feel um, that they're an amazing company to work for. And I'm just, I feel really blessed. So that is my update. It's pretty short, but um, yeah. So I hope that surgery is right for you. The other side of surgery is right for you as it is for me. And I hope everyone on their own weight loss journey is happy and successful. So good luck and healthy. Um, so I'm going to say goodbye. Bye.